So we found our first evidence of fresh sign of a pica here. So what we have here is a very fresh hay pile. We can tell it's really fresh because the vegetation is still green. We know that this was vegetation that was collected sometime this summer and placed in the hay pile. And then the other thing that we can see here is fresh scat. So at this particular spot from this individual pica, we actually have two different kinds of feces. We have the sequel feces, which is this one right here. It's the long black one that looks sort of like a worm. And this is very fresh. We pulled this out of this fresh hay pile. And then we also have some pellets, which are also fresh. And we know that they're fresh because they're stuck to the rock with urine. And the urine is still glistening, which indicates that it was probably from this morning. So pikas have two different kinds of um, fecal material. The first one, the cecal material, the pikas actually eat again, and then it passes through the digestive system and it comes out looking like these pellets. So we know that this is fresh scat here because it's stuck to the rock with urine, so we are going to go ahead and collect from this pile right here. In this case, in this spot, we got lucky because this scat pile here is out in the open and it's going to be relatively easy to collect. It's more often you find the scat sort of buried under these big rocks and it's a little bit harder. And I'm just writing down the site name so I don't uh, forget. There's a lot of different ways this can be collected. The way that Brian is demonstrating for us is a pretty good way to do it. So what you can do is you can put one envelope underneath the scat and then just use the other envelope to scrape the pellets into the envelope. One of the most important things when you're collecting the scat to remember is that you just don't want to touch the scat. You don't want to lick the envelope. You don't want to do anything that's going to contaminate the sample with your own DNA. You can also use a stick or a twig. If you don't have two envelopes, you can also place the envelope just underneath and use a stick or a twig. Mm -hmm. But that actually worked pretty well. It did work pretty well. And then we can also, we'll provide gloves if you'd rather do that. But remember, if you're collecting two different samples, to not use the same glove. Yes, so you have to use a new glove every time. And sometimes people don't like the gloves because you have to pack them out. Yeah. Fair enough. So instead of stealing the envelope by licking it, I'll put a sticker on it. And then I'm going to go down to my GPS and write the coordinates under the site name and my name and the date as well. So, scat collection. That's it. Yeah.